Our news media is not reporting on our fate. Please listen to the following. The proposed amendments to the International Health Regulations, 2005, IHR, have sparked concerns among some who believe they would grant the World Health Organization, WHO, excessive power and potentially erode national sovereignty. Critics of the amendments argue that the shortened timeline for rejecting future proposals, such as the 2023 IHR amendments and the WHO Pandemic Agreement, could lead to the implementation of measures that may compromise individual rights and freedoms. Specifically, the 2022 IHR amendments would reduce the period for governments to object to future proposals from 18 months to 6 months. This raises concerns that governments may not have sufficient time to thoroughly assess and respond to such proposals, potentially leading to the adoption of measures without adequate consideration of their implications. Critics also express concerns that the proposed amendments, along with the pandemic agreement, could undermine national sovereignty by granting the WHO greater authority over national public health policies. They argue that these proposals could lead to the imposition of international mandates that override national decision-making processes, potentially limiting the ability of individual countries to tailor their responses to public health threats based on their unique circumstances. Furthermore, some critics view the proposed amendments and pandemic agreement as a threat to medical sovereignty, suggesting that they could empower the WHO to influence or even dictate medical practices within national healthcare systems. They fear that this could lead to the standardization of medical procedures and the erosion of individual autonomy in healthcare decisions. The debate surrounding the proposed amendments and pandemic agreement highlights the delicate balance between global cooperation and national sovereignty in addressing public health challenges. While proponents emphasize the need for strengthened international coordination to effectively respond to pandemics, critics raise concerns about potential overreach and the erosion of individual liberties. Some say that we are the most powerful country in the world, so why would we hand over our sovereignty to any organization? Please contact Senator Kirsten Gillibrand at 202-224-4451 and Senator Charles Schumer at 212-486-4430. Tell them not to ratify this treaty. Your freedom depends on it.